Hello, everybody. Uh, today, we're diving into an amazing story of ambition, talent, and success. This is the story of Maria, a renowned TV host from Brazil, who basically dreamed of expanding her career to the United States. And with the help of Relico, she turned this dream into reality, and she got her EB-1 visa approved. Now she's going to the consular processing. So EB-1 visa, this for individuals with exceptional ability. So let's talk about it more specifically. So Maria has been a leading figure in the Brazilian television for over like a decade, known for her charismatic presence, known her groundbreaking interviews with the politicians, with the public figures. He, she has multiple awards under her belt. She has a loyal viewership under her belt too, like a couple of millions of people. And she decided to apply for a talent visa because she faced significant hurdle when she applied on her own before joining us. And this visa is basically designed for individuals who possess extraordinary ability in the field. The applicants must meet at least three out of ten criteria set by the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services to qualify. For Maria, this meant showcasing her exceptional achievements and basically influence in the world of television. So Maria met several EB1 criteria in the very beginning, national, international recognition, like awards, significant contribution to the field, a leading role, and a salary, so four criteria in general. Presenting these achievements in a manner that satisfies the USA's requirements proved very challenging. So our experts stepped in and our team documented Maria's career emphasized her career influence in the national and international uh, level and we compiled evidence of her awards, media coverage of these awards, and testimonials from industry leaders that's like one of the main achievement and main thing that not a lot of people do but it has to be done. If you have an award or association you have to collect testimonials these are small letters from your colleagues who testify that you indeed received the award and indeed this award was given to you for excellence in the field. That's very important. So we compiled the evidence and we painted the compelling picture of her ability. And despite our uh, thorough preparation, Maria's application received a request for evidence, RFE. This is not a typical for applications which are less than 300 or less than 500 pages because as we can see from our experience, requests for evidence, they come in when the officer who is reviewing your application needs more time to actually study the application and that's why he or she sends you a request for evidence and in the meantime studies your application more thoroughly, more carefully. So basically the request for evidence we received uh, questioned the uniqueness of Maria's contribution to the field and her overall role in the industry. This is a very common challenge, like you have to understand that, that a lot of applicants face and a lot of uh, falter. You basically bend your line and you insist, so that's how you respond to the request for evidence, you say that USCIS did not carefully review your application and misinterpreted a lot of facts because the application does indeed show that you're a leader in the field and this is what uh, shows it exactly. And after it, you may even bullet point uh, these points in your application that this shows that I'm a leader in the field, this shows that I made a contribution, and you highlight these moments in your initial application. That is what the USCIS needs. They need reassurance from your side to actually know that yes, he did uh, indeed show that he's a leader in the field the same contribution to the criteria contribution it has to be first 
innovative second has to be impactful on the field you have to show that it does indeed is used by uh, other people by other companies by other communities that your work has been accepted uh, in mass and this is an important step when you choose and when you apply for a criteria of original contribution to my opinion this is like one of the hardest one of the main difficulties in challenging this criteria so responding to rfe to maria's rfe was challenging but we conducted additional research we gathered more evidence we gathered more of maria's contribution information to tell to television industry including her approach to social issues impact on social media we secured the letters from international broadcasting experts attesting to her status in the field and we highlighted her global influence on uh, the industry and thanks to our strategic response maria's undeniable talent because she is indeed talented the rfe was cleared and her application received approval uh, she got her visa approved we uh, received a positive decision on february 15 and now we're in the process of applying for a consular processing and her story is one of the many stories and many applications we helped craft and we got approved so if you want to come to us and sign up free consultation please do it we'll leave a link in the description follow it and we'll speak about your specific case we'll talk about your strategy and how to get the green card approved in your case so don't hesitate reach out thank you for watching and see you next time